so we meet again. What's up, Diddy bitch? Boys couldn't find any idea on you. Are you gonna tell me your name? Or am I gonna have to beat the shit out of you? Hello! Today, we're gonna light an interrogation scene. And it's gonna be so easy. My name is Sadi, and this is Cynic Stuff. For more content like this on lighting, camera, and cinematography, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button. First thing you want to do is find a room that you can darken. This means that you want a room that is a little bit spacious, where you can place your actors in the middle of this room and have them as far away as possible from the walls. This will lower the possibility of anything in the room catching the reflections coming out of the light that we're going to set up. Second thing is, make sure the room can be darkened, which means it either has very low natural light coming in or it has no natural light at all. Now, if you only have a room that has natural light coming in from all sides, what you have to do is either wait and film it in the nighttime or what you could do is block all this light coming in with either flags or blackout curtains. Now comes the lighting part. Every professional in the industry will tell you whenever you're lighting, keep it simple. And taking that into consideration, we're literally only going to use one light. Specifically because we're lighting an interrogation scene, all you need is one light acting like the light bulb that is in that room. To do this, you could use any light that you have, even a real light bulb. For me, I'm going to use the Hive Wasp light. By the way, if you want to know more about this light, just leave me a comment. The main thing that you want to do with this light is make sure that it's hanging above your talent, just in the middle, hitting the table in between them. To do that, you could use a simple C-stand or you can get any arm and place it on the lighting stand and extend it so that when you put the light on and point it downwards, it's literally just hitting the table. Now what you could do here to light up the talent a little bit more is just open up the side barn doors to leak a little bit more light on our actors. Here, the white table is going to act like a reflector, reflecting light over our actors. Just enough light to light up our actors and not the background. Now for the bear shot, I had a dark green wall behind him, so it was very easy for me to expose well and not get that wall in shot. But for my actor, behind him was a bed and some white walls and some white curtains, so everything was reflected. So what I had to do for his shot is also very simple. Just grab a really dark shirt or t-shirt, ideally black, and put it above the table. This will limit the reflection that is bouncing all around the room. I didn't mind this reflection in the shot of the bear, but in the shot of my actor, because of all these white things in the background behind him, I have to limit the ambient light that is reflecting everywhere. One more thing that is causing a lot of ambient light in the room is the light leaking from the fixture of the light itself. To block that light leak, I put around it some black wrap. Another name for black wrap is cinefoil, and what it is is heavy duty aluminum foil that is painted black and is more heat resistant. Now if you don't have this, it's very easy. You could use any piece of cardboard or cloth or even flags to block this light. Don't use the cardboard or cloth if it's not an LED light though. After all of this is done, voila, here you have it. Super easy way to light an interrogation scene. Hope you guys enjoyed this, so thanks for watching. And until next time, city stuff out.